Hey, what's good everybody? This is PK Trainer Fatty with another Open Master League video, this time featuring Lugia with Aeroblast, a Dialga lead and a Groudon in the back. So a little bit of information before we start. I did have a 100% Lugia from the last time it was available in raids and I decided to power it up to 40, give it a second move and try it out in the Open Master League. I do think that it is a pretty rare Pokemon to see in the Master League, so we're definitely going to be surprising some people. And um, its main weaknesses are going to be the Giratinas, Melmetals, and, and Dialgas as well. So I did build this team around it with that in mind. And just a quick other note, uh, the switch timer currently is at 30 seconds, so this is going to be a bit interesting. Um... I'm definitely not used to such a short timer, but we're going to have to adapt and see how we do. So for our first battle here, my opponent does decide to lead with the Togekiss. So we're going to have to build up to two Iron Heads in order to take out the Togekiss or make them use both of their shields. So here I'm going to keep farming and farming until we can get to the first Iron Head. And as you can see here, this Togekiss is going to be doing a lot of damage to us with its charms. We go for the first Iron Head here. And my opponent does use their first shield. Now, we're gonna try to build up to a second one. But before we are able to get to it, my opponent does decide to attack with the Ancient Power. Now, thankfully, they don't get the stat boost from the Ancient Power, so we can definitely get to the second Iron Head here. And we're going to try to take out the Togekiss as soon as possible. And here my opponent does use up their second shield. And they will be able to farm us down. So now we're going to bring in our Lugia and build up to a Sky Attack. Now this team doesn't really have any direct answers for the Togekiss. But Lugia is probably my best bet. I'm going to shield up here from the incoming Ancient Power. And build up to the sky attack. But before we're able to do that, my opponent does switch into their Melmetal. So we're going to quickly swap out into my Groudon and start charging up some attacks. This Melmetal's main goal is going to be do, to do as much damage to my Groudon before it does get taken out or does switch out. So we're going to have to be pretty wary here. My opponent does decide to go for the Rock Slide though. And now they will be going for a Super Power. So we get hit with a superpower, and now just before we're able to get to the earthquake, my opponent quickly swaps into a Kyogre. So we're going to go for an Aeroblast here with our Lugia to do as much damage to this Kyogre as possible. We're going to try to do as much damage with our Lugia to this Kyogre because our Groudon will be quickly taken out by this Kyogre's waterfalls and its surfs. So here we go for a second sky attack. And we're going to keep dragon tailing it and try to build up for a third. But my opponent, again, switches into the Melmetal. So we're going to quickly go for an Earthquake here and take out the Melmetal immediately. The Melmetal does go down. We're looking good right now. And they're going to bring in their Kyogre. And we're going to go for a Fire Punch. It is within the range where this Fire Punch will take it out. And their last Pokemon is going to be the Togekiss. Kyogre goes down. And we're going to quickly swap into the Lugia and go for a Sky Attack here. So the optimal moveset for a Lugia in the Master League is going to be Dragon Tail, Aeroblast, and Sky Attack at the moment. So before we are able to take out the Togekiss, it will Ancient Power and take us out. Now we're just going to quickly bring in our Groudon and go for a Fire Punch and take the game. Alright, looking good so far. The new Switch Timer, like I mentioned, is a bit tricky. But once you get used to it uh, and uh, know how to play with the new uh, timer in mind, things can get pretty fun. So here for our second match, 
my opponent will lead with a Dragon Knight. So we led with a, Di a Dialga and we're going to be doing as many Dragon Breaths as we can before they do switch out to take out as much of its HP as we can. So before we get to the Iron Head, my opponent will switch into their Metagross. So we're going to bring in our Groudon and go for a Fire Punch. This Fire Punch will be doing a significant amount of damage to the Metagross, but they decide not to protect and let it go through. So what we're going to do here is we're going to save up our shields and let this Meteor Mash go through. It will be doing a significant amount of damage to our Groudon, but it's fine. We do survive it and we will be going for a second Fire Punch. But before we get to it, my opponent does switch into a Dragonite. So we're going to have to definitely protect from this incoming Dragon Claw. And we're going to quickly switch back out into our Dialga and go for the Iron Head as soon as we can. So here the Iron Head is going to go through and we're going to take out the Dragonite. And they're going to bring back in their Melmetal. But, sorry, their Metagross. Uh, and now at this point I decide to save my last shield and we will be taken out by this Earthquake. So Metagross does take us out with the Earthquake. My main plan here is to bring in the Groudon. But they do quickly switch out into the Mewtwo. So we're going to still go for the Earthquake. At least to make them use one of their shields. And they do. And now we're going to quickly swap into the Lugia. And start building up to those Sky Attacks. Now Mewtwo of course does run Shadow Ball. It does run Ice Beam. So we're going to be hit unfortunately with an Ice Beam right here. Lugia does not take any Ice Beams pretty well. Being that it is part Flying type. And now we're going to use a Sky Attack here. And my opponent decides to shield that last, sky, that last Sky Attack. So we're going to build up to another one and quickly try to swap into our Groudon. We do get attacked with one more Ice Beam before we are able to swap out though. So my main plan here is to go for one more Sky Attack. But before we are able to uh, take it out, it do they do sack swap one of their Pokemon, expecting me to uh, use my charge move. But now we're able to get to an Aeroblast and take out the, the Mewtwo. We are going to be hit with a Psy Strike first though. And that almost takes us out, but now this Aeroblast is going to decimate the Mewtwo completely. It is a very powerful move and I believe it does have a small chance of increasing our attack. Which it just did right there. Aeroblast definitely is giving uh, Lugia a lot more play in the Master League lately. So here for our third match. My opponent is going to lead with a Giratina. Now we want to take this Giratina out as soon as possible. Lugia and Groudon do not handle Giratina very well. So we're going to Dragon Breath as much as we can before we do hit, get hit with the Shadow Ball. Now here I decide not to shield. Uh, opting to save the rest of my shields for the Lugia and Groudon in the back. We are going to take a lot of damage from that Shadow Ball, but now we're going to get to go for an Iron Head. Yeah, drop an Iron Head right here on the Giratina. It does decide to protect though, and they do swap into a Togekiss. That is not good for us. We're going to have to quickly swap into the Lugia and go for those Sky Attacks. Now Lugia does suffer from a bit of an issue here. It is its uh, quick move is going to be Dragon Tail that is not going to be doing a lot of damage to the Togekiss. So we're going to try to farm up to another Sky Attack here. We will be hit with an Ancient Power which we will shield though. But instead of an Ancient Power they decide to go for a Flamethrower here. Interesting. So we're going to go for a Sky Attack now. And this uh, Togekiss is at the range now where a second Sky Attack will at least take it out or bring it close to being taken out. They do let it go through and they decide to swap back into their Giratina. So we're going to quickly swap into the Dialga, do as much damage as possible. And we're going to bring back out our Lugia and try to do as many Dragon Tails as we can. Now we do get hit with a Shadow Ball which we will be shielding here. And then we can just 
Dragon Tail away the rest of its HP. So the Giratina goes down. However, my opponent is at a shield advantage, so we are not looking that good right now. We are going to build up to a Sky Attack, and here get hit with a incoming Rock Slide. Our Lugia just barely survives that, and we're able to switch into our Groudon and start building up some energy. My opponent will switch in the Togekiss. We will use a Fire Punch to take it out, though. Now, the main goal here is to take out the Togekiss, and then we will have enough energy to go for a second Fire Punch. My opponent here will hit me with a Rock Slide, though, with their Metal Metal. Instead of Rock Slide, it was a superpower, so their defense will be lowered, and we can go for a Fire Punch now, instead of having to build all the way up to an Earthquake. These Fire Punches will be doing the necessary amount of damage. They decided to shield that Fire Punch, and now I'm going to guess they will go for another superpower. It is the highest damaging move that Mel Metal can do to our Groudon. However, its uh, debuff is going to bring it dangerously low enough to be taken out with this Fire Punch. So we go for a Fire Punch on the Mel Metal, and from this range, it should take it out. It just about takes it out, but we're able to farm down the rest of its HP. Its uh, incoming uh, attack isn't really going to take us out since it's been debuffed that much. Superpower will not take us out. So now we'll just be able to farm it down and win the game. So Lugia definitely gave us the win here. Uh, it took care of that uh, Togekiss in the middle. So here for our, first, uh, for our fourth match, my opponent leads with a Giratina once again. So as usual, with our Dialga, we're going to farm up and start taking it out with those Dragon Breaths. They switch into a Dialga themselves. So we're going to quickly swap into a Groudon here. So this Groudon is going to be building up to a Fire Punch. I did not want to risk building up to a Earthquake because those Dragon Breaths will be doing a lot of damage. We do hit it, and now we're going to build up to a second one, and now we are about to get hit with an Iron Head, which we will shield. But instead of an Iron Head, they decide to go with a Draco Meteor. Now, that wasn't a good move for them, because now they're going to have to swap out, and we're going to bring back in our Dialga on their Giratina and go for the Iron Head. So, I go for the Iron Head here. They protect. And now they're about to hit us with another move. So which we, we will shield that. We want to keep our Dialga with as much HP as possible here. From their Shadow Ball, that would have done a lot of damage. Now they are at a uh, shield advantage. But we will be able to do a, a lot of damage with these Dragon Breaths. They switch in their Melmetal and we're going to bring in our Groudon and go for an Earthquake. But before we are able to get to it, they will hit us with their Rock Slides. Sorry, it was a superpower. I keep expecting them to go for the rock slides, but they are opting to go for the superpower instead. So that means we don't have to go for the earthquake. We can just go for the fire punch and it will still be doing a lot of damage here. They are going to shield that now they are out of shields. And here we are going to go and switch out into our Dialga to take this incoming attack. So here we will be hit with a shadow ball and get taken out. We're going to bring in our Lugia though and start dragon tailing away the rest of this Giratina's HP. And before we are able to get to a sky attack we will be hit unfortunately here. We do get hit with the shadow ball but we are able to farm down the rest of its HP with the dragon tail. Now quickly I am going to swap in to my Groudon and go for the earthquake here on their Melmetal before they have time to react. Take out their Melmetal, another last remaining Pokemon is going to be the Dialga. We are going to go for a Fire Punch here and that should be enough to win us the game. So with this new timer, we definitely have to always be on our toes and we can catch our opponents by surprise, especially if we know when to switch out. All right, that is a good game. A lot of fun with this team, guys. So for our final match here, 
my opponent will be leading with a Gyarados. Now, Gyarados is one of those Pokemon you are going to be not seeing too much of in the Open Master League. But it is definitely a very powerful Premier League Pokemon. We're going to be dragging breathing it away with our Dialga. Here, we are going to be hit with a Crunch. Which will be doing a lot more damage than I expected. But here we will be going for the Iron Head. Dialga's Iron Head is going to be blocked though by the shield. And my opponent is going to start building up to a Dragon Tail, uh, to an Aqua Tail here. They do farm us down and we're going to have to bring in our Lugia. So here I was actually getting a bit worried. I thought that this uh, Gyarados will go down pretty easily, but it's managed to take out our Dialga and make us use one of our shields here. <clears throat> so we are going to Dragon Tail it away as much as we can. We're going to save up our shield here, even though I am expecting to get hit with a Crunch. And that will be doing a lot of damage to the Lugia. But it's fine because now we can just keep building up our energy. If we have a Aeroblast ready, we are definitely in a good position here. Not a lot of Pokemon take these Aeroblasts pretty well. Even a Dialga is going to have to shield when it comes to this Aeroblast. So we are going to use one Aeroblast here on the Dialga. It decides to shield it up, as expected. And we're going to go for a second Aeroblast right here. But before we get to it, we are going to be attacked with an Iron Head. That is fine. We are going to let the Lugia go down though. And we're going to bring in our Groudon. We do have a shield advantage. So we are in a good position here. So we do, before we are able to get to the Earthquake, my opponent switches in their own Groudon. Though I'm not too worried here. This uh, Earthquake is going to be doing a lot of damage to their opposing Groudon. And now we're going to quickly build up to a fire punch. So now we have one more shield remaining for the incoming Draco meter that that Dialga could probably do to us. And we're going to start building up to another earthquake. And before we are able to go for the earthquake, my opponent does decide to quit here. But anyway, that was a good game. So we're going to quickly collect our rewards. Overall, I had fun using this team. It does suffer from a lot of weaknesses such as Melmetal, Garatinas. But I believe if you play it right, it can definitely work, especially with the new switch timer at this, at this uh, event. I'm going to quickly catch this Crafty. And we're going to collect our Dust and our Rank. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. This is PK Trainer Fatty, and I will see you again next time. Peace.